was here in 1969 to fight Johnny Famishon for one of the featherweight title. Now, Lionel, just by a coincidence, Johnny Famishon, one of your closest friends, is also with us tonight. <laughs> And to complete the foursome, here's Jimmy Carruthers, our first ever world champion who helped us surprise Lionel tonight. Well, there's a handful of world champions for you, and just for the record book, it's the first time in Australia we've ever had four of them together at one time. champion of the world and the response is immediate. Australia takes you to its collective heart. Honours heap upon honours. And Drew and your grandmother Adelaide Rose listens to it all quietly, knowing it has taken three generations to get to hold your head this high. You have provided for your family a security they had never known. And representing them here tonight is your younger brother Michael, one of the children who in those earlier years you fought to feed. your footstep, footsteps in the ring, undefeated, a junior edition of Lionel Rose. Michael, are you in training now? Yes, I am in training, Michael. I've uh, been working out with Lionel and uh, Frank is training. That's, that's not a bad double. You think you might be as good as Big Brother? I hope to be. I hope to be. Yeah, good on you. I hope you too. Michael, thanks for coming and joining us tonight and good luck. Lionel, on December 16, 1970, you marry Frank Oak's daughter, Jenny. Jenny sends a love tonight. She's at home babysitting with the infant son, Michael. You wrote a book, Lionel Rose, Australian, co-authored by your friend, sporting journalist, Rod Humphreys, who's in the audience with us tonight. You start singing professionally, not the songs from the sandwich shop, but new songs you feel you want to sing. Your first single, I Thank You, becomes a double gold record. Seller is a song that Roy, your father, wrote and taught you as a little boy. You start driving racing cars and do pretty well at that. You lease a race horse and breathe a sigh of relief when it breaks down. Yeah, that's right, yeah. Without a care, you eat too much, drink too much, and your weight blows to nearly 13 stone. Then this year, in March, you take a look at yourself and decide you don't like what you see. Within months, you shed the weight to the point where you're ready to fight again. Now as a junior lightweight. You go to Kuala Lumpur to fight top-rated Shoji Ushida in the main preliminary to the Muhammad Ali Joe Bugner title fight. Yes, you win, and a few weeks later you fight the South African Blakeney Matthews in your old Melbourne stamping ground. So one up, one down, and more to go, and we wish you luck on that journey. Thank you. At 27, Lionel, your future is all ahead of you, held in your own lightning-fast hands. That ends our story, Lionel, but before we go, somebody would like to say good night to you. Good night, Lionel. All my love. Lionel Rose, this is your life.